Harold, we got Tommy Ganya, your, your, your young rebel, your talent, your charisma, you've got everything. Six time IBO world champion, and he went off the rails and he, he's back now. He's been given another opportunity by yourself and by Golden Gloves, Rodney Berman. What do we foresee for this great talent? Yeah, Brian, I must, I must say, like, you were right. I am, must be one of the best in the world trainers because I'm standing with two world champions that I trained. Oh, thank you. You know, so, and both uh, uh, Brian Mitchell, Wall of Famer, and Tommy became a world champion before he was the age of 25, which I told him, you know, uh, from the start. Tommy is one of the most talented guys in South Africa today. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I've got other youngsters around here that I train too now. Or what we train and and uh, but at the moment there's not too many talent around and I think Tommy is one of the the, the uh, most talented fighters fighter in the country but he's he hasn't got much time left you know and he's got a push now you know and hopefully everything is going to go well do you still foresee him being a South Africa superstar which we need in this country yes oh definitely Brian I, I you know um, when I saw him as a youngster I looked at him and and uh, and the fights he used to have, I, I looked at him as a Wall of Famer, Absolutely. you know, that he, he's going to go that direction. Unfortunately, uh, it, 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 we're not there yet, and it's not too late. He's got a bit of time now still on his side. It's going to be up to him now. Uh, he's going to get the opportunities. Uh, we just want to thank also uh, uh, Golden Gloves, Mr. Roddy Berman, for the opportunity he's giving uh, Tommy to fight on, the, on his next show. But uh, I still think Tommy is one of the most talented fighters in the country. Thanks, Harold. Nice chatting Thank to you. you. And obviously, we've got breaking news in the next week or so. Yes. We're going to talk. There's a big fight coming for Tommy Gunn. Yeah. So we look forward to that breaking news. Thanks, Thank Harold. You very, Thank you very much. Thank you, Tommy Gunn. Thank you, Brian. Tommy Gunn, uh, glad to see you back in the gym, back in boxing. The South African public have missed you. You're a great fighter. You've got all the talent yeah. in the world. Tell us a little bit about, about what's happening with Tommy of late. Um, well, as everybody know, knows that uh, I've been through some, some rough patches uh, in not only in my career, but in my life as well. And, and um, I'm hoping uh, that, that all is sorted now and everything is just going to be smooth sailing from now on, uh, making the right choices forward, um, making uh, also the right movements uh, forward in my career and in my life to, to make sure that I don't uh, end up on, uh, on the wrong road. Uh, just moving forward in on the right track in uh, doing the right things and uh, definitely uh, writing uh, the, the final pages of, of my boxing career, the final couple of years. I don't know uh, to what age Harold's going to decide or we'll be fighting at. Um, hopefully I'll still be looking good when I'm 37. Tommy, I mean the, the public love you. The people ask me every day, where's Tommy Gunn, where's Tyson? And you went off the rails, obviously. What went wrong in your life? Um, I put myself in bad situations, um, with wrong friends, wrong crowds, um, wrong places, and uh, at the end of the day, um, I started doing the wrong things. You know, um, you are who you hang out with, uh, and uh, I had to learn that on the hard way. So I uh, made made some some wrong choices, uh, a few of them, and uh, you know I'm just blessed. I'm really blessed here where I'm standing to to have another opportunity to have a. Uh, an opportunity to rectify, uh, you know, the the lost pages and, and make sure that that I leave the sport solid as I came in. Now that Rodney Berman's given you obviously another opportunity. Yes. Harold Forbes has given you another opportunity. Yes. You've got a lot, a lot of opportunities. You do deserve it because you're a great fighter, and you you've just fallen on your eye as well. So <laughs> yes, so that, the life that hasn't gone so great for you of late. But tell us what what you're looking forward to in the future. You know the. The, the fall, it's something that happens in life, you know. Um, I've, I've, had, I've had situations where I really did not actually fall, and um, which we had to uh, herald, you know, he's a master of, uh, of disguise, you know. Yeah. Not only a master of, of the ring, but also a master of disguise. So we had situations where, where uh, waywardness uh, actually um, made me to pick up injuries and stuff, but uh, this was not one of those situations. Um, these are things that happen in life, you know, and... Uh, we take a bump, we move forward. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a baby to cry over things like that. I will heal before, uh, be, before the show. Uh, I, have, I do have some, some information which I can't share at this moment. Breaking Rodney Berman, Rod, Rodney Berman has, uh, has spoken to me and uh, I have spoken to myself personally. Um, 
while I was sitting with Harold and um, you know uh, being with Harold Harold uh, there's nobody better to train me in the world and I I rate Harold the best trainer in the world um, so I'm um, moving forward uh, we're gonna be um, moving up in weight division uh, gonna go fight the guys uh, uh, above our weight divisions because um, you know competitiveness uh, is the, there's a little bit of um, dryness in the super middleweight and light heavyweight division so um, in in a sense of competition in, in the country for us you know um, uh, Rainer Liebenberg we can't just be fighting Rainer Liebenberg Rainer Liebenberg eventually people are gonna they have beaten Rainer Liebenberg they're gonna get tired of watching me beat his ass all the time you know so it's gonna just be a one way street well, Tommy let me ask you a big question. I agree with you a million percent on Harold Forbrecht. He trained me through eight world title fights. Great trainer, one of the greatest trainers in the world ever. Are we going to see Tommy Westhuizen with a world title belt again in the near future? Yes, yes. That, uh, that is how people, that, that's not only how uh, South African people know me, um, that is not uh, just how the world of uh, boxing people know me, but that is how, how I know myself and how Harold knows me. And that is... Uh, why I turned professional, uh, why I came to Harold. When, when I wanted to turn professional, my, my dad brought me to Harold Forbrecht and uh, the words that were said is, um, you know, Harold told my dad, I'm gonna make his son a world champion. Harold saw what I, what I have to bring to the table. So we have accomplished uh, uh, taking all the titles and stuff, but there are still so much more to take. Um, thank God uh, for, for a world full of opportunity and a, f a world full of diamonds, you know. Tommy, no, no, thank you for a great thank interview. Brian. We, we look so forward to being back in the ring. You're a terrific fighter. You've got great Thank talent. You. One of the best fighters this country's ever produced. And please keep it, keep it real. Stay on the rails. I'll, I'll do, we look forward I'll to do it. that. Thank you Tell very me much. Tell me where it stays in, ladies and gentlemen.